Okay. So, one of the things I wanted to do uh, this morning, good morning, it's morning time. I don't know what time it is when you're watching this, but right now, as I record, it's morning. So, these are the templates I used on the tail surfaces to cut out the balsa. So these are the scale outline of those components of the airplane. This is the template I made for the uh, wheel pants. And since I'm going to be cutting masks for the red uh, trim paint, uh, the red trim on the uh, fuselage, uh, I thought I, what I would do is use these, these templates for the tape, uh, for the masking tape, uh, as masking tape templates. So what I'm going to do, since this is the outline of the, of the rudder and vertical stabilizer, uh, rudder and vertical stabilizer, what I thought I would do is, is just take and uh, reduce it by the amount that I want um, the red paint to appear on the part. So all that, all that means is that we're just going to trace or draw an outline here about a quarter of an inch uh, in from the edge and use then uh, then we use the remainder of this part what's left of it um, as a template on our masking tape so we'll lay masking tape over glass put this on top of it once it's been reduced by that quarter inch amount and trace that line onto our masking tape and cut it and then apply that to our uh, rudder <coughs> as a as a paint mask and I'll do that uh, for all of these uh, three components we'll reduce this by that amount, we'll reduce the uh, wheel pant template by that amount transfer those shapes onto the tape and cut out the tape and apply it to the airplane and then obviously we'll have to mask the rest of the fuselage to keep the red paint from going anywhere we don't want it to go and uh, and then that's how we'll do that. Now I, the other thing I need to mask is the cowling and we'll have to trace out, we'll take that that decal for the cowling which is you know this kind of a this kind of a shape. I don't know if you can see this on camera we need to find out exactly what the dimensions of this are. This is the area that will be painted red on the sides of our of our cowling. And then once once we know exactly what that shape is by tracing it from the decal on, onto the tracing paper, then we'll cut that out. And we'll trace that onto our cardstock. And remember how we do that? We draw this really oh, these three lines as hard as we can with the pencil, and we flip it over, lay it onto the cardstock and just rub it out onto the cardstock and that leaves us with our with our shape and then we just cut that out of the cardstock and then we have a cardstock template for the red paint that goes onto the sides of the cowling <coughs> uh, right we have our we have our outline for that out of masking tape so that takes care of the cowling and the tail surfaces the only other thing I have to mask and paint is the wing and for that I don't need a template, I just need to measure how wide I want that line to be. At the wing tips, we'll use this, probably this circle as a template, and just create at the wing tip the radius, you know, once we know what that radius is. If it's not this circle, we'll draw one that that works. Lay those into the wing tips at that fair distance from the actual tip of the wing to leave our red reveal and then off of this will come with straight lines of tape toward the center of the wing on both sides uh, so obviously we have top and bottom wing surfaces so we'll need four uh, wing tip areas to be masked and then both the top surface and the and the under surface of the wing uh, leading and trailing edges to be uh, fared into this and masked so that's essentially all all we need to do on that and so creating this we require uh, the decals hang on let me see if I can pull those out it's probably going to make a little ruckus let's see what happens So 
you can see all this. <coughs> so we have his upper and lower wing registrations. You can see that red even through the, the carrier. Boy, that sure that doesn't look as deep as I thought it did. That looks more like this red than it does like this. I think this is too dark now that I look at it. Let me see. Yeah, I'm thinking and that's actually supposed to peel off of the top at the bottom. I'm thinking that looks, let me see, oh, it's still going to come up. Let's try that again. Oh, actually, it is supposed to go that way. No, never mind. I'm doing this right. Uh, but that looks, that looks closer than this. So we'll use the pure red. We'll set aside the dark red. So now that I see that on the light, it looks like more like this than like the dark. Okay, so we have our, we have the proper red on hand. That's this. And so here's our wing registration, here's our tail registration, right? The Gilmore oil, this goes on the fuselage side, I think. We'll double check that. I got tape everywhere. See the desktop, I've totally cleaned it. It's completely immaculate. Uh, this goes on the side of the fuselage toward the tail. This goes on the underwing on one side. These are the side stripes with the cowling uh, striping. Here's the lion head. I don't know if I can peel. I'm really leery of getting dust on any of this stuff. Yeah, I really don't want to get dust on it. But, okay, so these are the larger lion heads. These are for the tail. The smaller ones are for the uh, landing gear fairings the Lockheed logo that goes on the uh, upper fuselage toward the forward side. Um, I believe these go just ahead of where the uh, passenger windows are. I'll be using the kit supply decals for the passenger windows and doors. Uh, this airplane <coughs> had a door on the port side, but it just had an emergency kind of a kick out window on the starboard side. So I'm thinking, and it also only had, this this particular one had three windows on each side, not four. It was a five passenger, not the, I think, six or seven passenger that the uh, four window cabin had. So we'll be cutting the forward window off of each side, or at least the, the extra window off, leaving it with three windows. On the port side, I'm gonna leave the door in, but on the starboard side, I'm gonna cut out each of the individual windows and just space them this far apart and line them up and and we'll do it that way um, <coughs> I cannot get rid of this congestion so I apologize for that uh, right we'll be using Cali's Lockheed logo instead of the kit supplied logo so the only thing I'll be using off of off of this sheet is these and they'll be modified, but we'll use these. Uh, so this is Callie's beautiful graphics for this airplane. And I told her, I, once I get it finished, I'll send her uh, some photographs and maybe a link to the channel so, so they can either, I don't know, use it for promotion or whatever. I just want, you know, whenever I use anybody's stuff I like to send them images of the final product I've sent a few pictures to Williams Brothers of some of the projects I've worked on because they provide those motors which are just awesome <clears throat> I hope they can stay in business right so uh, anyway these are the graphics these are this is this is what will be applied after I would get the red trim paint on and gosh, they just, they, I mean, they just look awesome. And normally I'd swear when I say that, I'd say, you know, holy whatever, they look great. But gee golly, they're awesome. Um, <clears throat> right, so I'm going to work on the, uh, creating the uh, 
templates for the t for the uh, masking tape mask off the uh, airplane I don't know if I'll do that today or tomorrow today's kind of a I got really nothing on the schedule today it would be better if I could do it today but I won't I mean I'll have to once I spray that red it's gonna have to dry for at least a day so I won't be able to decal it today I did want to show you this stuff and I was hoping I could show you a little bit more of it but I just can't I don't want to get any dust on this stuff it's, I've kept them under the computer keyboard for a month <laughs> ordered them quite a while ago and I did want to do one thing I do need to measure something real quick if I can I want to make sure this fits on my fuselage I she didn't I didn't send any pictures of the uh, model, I just described the scale of it. And I'm hoping this will fit on my. Hold on, while I check this out. Yeah, that's a little bit long. Yeah, there. The uh, the scale is just a little large. It'll fit on the airplane. It'll look okay. Um, it would have been better if this was probably, and I think I told her 118, but it might have been better if we'd have gone with a 120th scale for the for the graphics. This is a little bit long. It would actually be better if it was about if the overall length of this graphic was this instead of this. It's going to run a little bit, just a just a little bit long maybe a quarter of an inch longer than than the imagery I have. And it's probably a little too tall by about an eighth of an inch. But they'll fit. <clears throat> and more is better, right? Bigger bigger is always better. So that would that goes for crowd size and oh, I don't want to go there. Alright, so uh bigger is better. These will be a little bit a little bit oversized, a little pronounced. But I think that'll just add to the overall. And I have artistic license here. I mean, it, it is mine. It doesn't have to be exact. I've gotten over all of that stuff. I'm not going to lose my mind because the decals <laughs> are a shade oversized. They'll fit. They'll work. And they'll look nice. So as long as I can apply them properly. All right. So we're going to proceed with work on this now. I'll get the masks going. Um, at some point, we'll turn the camera back on. Once I, I guess once I get everything masked, I'll start shooting red paint onto it, and then we'll peel the tape off on camera. Share that on camera. So good, bad, or indifferent, whatever happens, happens. We'll do that on camera. Hopefully that'll go well. We'll get we'll get some nice straight, clean lines and and no overspray or bleed. Uh, don't know if I'll be spraying the paint today, but whenever I do, I will, we'll record that. Okay? We'll record the, the peel off, the mask, the mask removal. Uh, aside from that, what do we have? Yeah, we're, well, that's an interesting detail. Well, that'll be fine. We'll get that in there. We'll just do the full all the way to here. Right, when we, uh, when we draw this triangle, we'll just bring it. What we'll do is we'll trace this directly onto the mask, onto the uh, tissue paper. But then when I cut it, I'll cut it just about an eighth, just about just about an eighth inch oversized. I'm gonna go see what that is. I'll talk to you later.